it's not anything you can see or feel, at least on Earth, but a major storm hit the Earth, a solar storm. And it could affect your cell phones, GPS devices, and more. The storm started when two massive solar flares erupted on the sun this week. Ten of your side, Stephanie Harris is looking into what we may experience and see over the next 12 hours or so. Well, Nicole, Tom, solar storms are nothing new. They are part of the sun's regular 11-year cycle. But what is new since our last big storm? This. Cell phones, laptops, iPads. We are so dependent, or in some cases we're, let's admit it, addicted to our technology. And a storm that can mess with this stuff will certainly mess with you. The sun's show is breathtaking. The best part for us individually about uh, solar flares and then the material they send out is that they also cause the aurora. And, and the aurora are absolutely stunning. I don't know if you've ever seen the aurora borealis or australis. Uh, they are, it is quite extraordinary. But this beauty could create a beast. NASA says it could disrupt high frequency radio communication, GPS systems, and power grids, which could interrupt things like cell phone signals, ATMs, and air travel. Satellites might experience um, uh, sort of uh, single event upsets, you know, electronic failure. You could have uh, radio blackout, and I believe uh, some areas on the sunlit side has already experienced that. The solar storm is about 10 times stronger than the normal wind that hits the Earth. As it continues to shake Earth's magnetic field, experts predict we could feel its effects through Friday morning. Despite the potential problems, NASA scientists say there is no need to panic. You know, we, we, we see every corner of the sun all the time. So we, have a, we, we are at least able to tell you that, yes, this is coming towards us. Beware, keep watching, uh, don't get hysterical. Don't worry, that text message will save. So far, no major disturbances have been reported, but this solar storm is likely to last until tomorrow morning. And scientists are watching another set of active sunspots potentially aimed at Earth over the next several days. So. It makes me want to just say, run! <laughs> Nicole, I don't know, what would happen to you if you were separated from your electronic oh devices? Can you imagine? No. iPad? Cell phone? Wow. You'd go into a shock, wouldn't you? <laughs> we do have a lot of information on this on uh, wavy.com, so if you want to learn more, we've got this page pulled up here, and we've got some pictures and a little information from NASA. So it is interesting, but hopefully <laughs> yeah. we'll all be okay. And the pictures are pretty. Go check them out.